What's going on everybody? Hey, before we get started with today's video, if you're looking for a super easy way to make some quick cash while you're pretty much doing nothing with all this alone time watching Netflix and stuff, I have a great solution for you. So back when I was an aspiring actor, in between my Uber and Lyft rides, I was on this service called Survey Junkie. And it's incredible because you literally make money just filling out these surveys. And the surveys will be anything about products you use, places you've lived, all kinds of different things. They're real fast, real easy to fill out. You save up those points and you can cash them out on PayPal or redeem them for prizes. And it's crazy because I literally used to do this. And I revisited the idea of it the other day because what was I doing? Sitting on the couch watching Netflix. So I thought, hey, you know, there's got to be a way I can monetize this time a little bit better. So I remembered that. I got back on, started filling out surveys and making some money. It's 100% legit. I can verify that because I've been a part of it for years, honestly. And um, yeah, you definitely want to check it out. So get on our uh, really good promo code. It's in the description and get started filling out some surveys. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Ride Share Hub. My name's Greg. I uh, hope you guys are doing good more than ever. Crazy times, you know. Still doing uh, the videos in my studio here, not looking to venture out if I don't have to. I know some of you probably think it's pretty chill now, and I've heard some states might be opening up by the end of the month. Um, you know, for me, I'm just not playing any games. I don't want to get it. I actually, uh, I don't know. It's just nuts, but let's just get right to the video. Um, so I really was not looking forward to this video. Um, what I'm doing is, uh, for those of you who don't know, a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers have, that have applied for the sick leave have been getting deactivated. And this is really a bummer. I really am, am so shocked this has happened because it was one thing I like pretty much publicly said I really didn't think would happen because I didn't think as companies they would stoop that low. I didn't think they would go to the point of deactivating drivers during times like this just because they're looking for sick leave. Um, and I, I mean, I guess their logic is, oh, well, people are manipulating the system. But like, my thing is, is like, there's so many of us that could easily be carriers and not realizing it. So the way I looked at it is it made more sense to err on the side of caution and apply so that you don't have to drive and risk spreading this crap even more, you know? So that was the way I saw it. And I was just like, you know, I was just like, you know, if they, if they really do that right now, uh, wow, they're scummy. And, you know, as usual, Uber and Lyft proved me right. They're scummy companies, you know? So here's what's been going on. Basically, they had a new update for their sick leave, right? And they had these qualifications that you had to have given at least one ride in the past four weeks. Now, here's why I don't like that. Because, like, the rumor of all this going on was, was already going, like, you're going back towards January. So, if I'm really trying to be safe and risk-free and not be out driving and I didn't give a ride, you know, in the last four weeks, which personally I haven't, I haven't given a ride in the last six to eight weeks. And I was extremely lucky because I was about to apply for the sick leave with the thought of, oh, I'll just, I'll qualify anyways. But then I thought about it and I was like, okay, I already, I already, you know, applied for the unemployment benefits, which I didn't get. And, you know, and then I'll have the stimulus check coming in the mail. Didn't get that either. And so, you know, the way I looked at it was I'm, I'll be good, you know, no need to milk the system. Right. So I personally didn't, but a lot of you had written in and asked, well, you know, is there going to be any harm in applying? Will we get deactivated? And I said, listen, it could happen, but I'd be insanely shocked if it did. Because what kind of company does that in a time like this? I mean, really? Like, really? I was floored. Like, I get it if it's like a really obvious situation. Somebody hasn't driven in three months. But like, why deactivate? Why not just email them and be like, hey, you know... Unfortunately, we're not going to give you sick leave because you haven't given a ride in four weeks. Not be like, not just like right off the bat deactivate. Like, I don't understand that. So I sincerely apologize to 
all of you because I, I personally felt like I almost encouraged people to do it. Now, I did say like that I thought there was a chance it could happen, but the thing I said over and over again is I was like, I would be so shocked if they did that. And here I am sitting here very, very shocked that they did that. So you have to have given a ride in the past four weeks prior to submitting your doctor's letter. So a lot of you guys applied, you got denied the sick leave, and then not only that, you got deactivated. And this is Uber and Lyft. Both companies have been doing this. Um, so for those of you that want some more information, uh, Uber's paid sick leave website is uber.com uh, backslash blog backslash update. And if you Google that, the, end of the rest will fill in. And then if you want to go to Lyft's, um, I'm sorry, but uh, this was actually a really good article I read um, that I started taking a lot of my notes on. And it was uh, www.cnet.com backslash news backslash lift quietly adjusts its Corona sick pay policy for drivers. Like that, that's the actual website title. <laughs> because that's what they did. It was like they snuck it in there because before I hadn't seen anything about this. We had, we had all done a lot of research. We had all looked at a lot of websites, a lot of videos. We'd scoured Lyft and Uber's website. And it was pretty clear that the only thing you needed to be able to say was that you stopped driving within the last few months because you were worried of getting sick or getting your family sick. That was the only thing it said. And it was this real quiet thing. And then there was all these articles they released. I think they released. Obviously, I can't prove that. That... Um, you know, that were saying, oh, Uber and Lyft drivers aren't getting any sick leave. So it felt like they were releasing these articles to not have people driven towards applying for sick leave. So then guys like us come out and make videos and say, hey, go apply for sick leave. And it's almost like their backlash to that was like, oh, okay, you said we wouldn't deactivate people. Well, guess what? We're going to deactivate people and we're going to change the rule like right under your nose. So that's like a lot of the issue is that the, the rule was what we said. It was what we said. And it was that, it was literally that plain and simple that you could get sick leave if you could provide a doctor's note saying that you should probably self isolate in fear of getting them uh, and getting sick or getting someone else sick. And it's a pretty rational thing to do, rational thing to say when you're picking people up at the airport, when you're driving people around in a tight little, you know, space of a car i mean how how is that that outlandish it's not and that's why we really thought nothing would happen so again i'm so so sorry for those of you that got deactivated i my hope is that it's not something that's permanent you know my hope is that uh you know maybe they'll reconsider you know their irrationality of that once maybe things clear up and a lot more states open up um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So the only other thing I wanted to really mention to you guys is a lot of you have still been asking about the unemployment benefits. Um, I'm kind of in as much confusion as you guys are with that. I applied and I just got a bunch of paperwork that made really no sense. And um, I've been on hold like almost every day with the unemployment office trying to get some information or just be like, listen, like, none of this makes sense. I'm not an actually, I'm not an actual employee. And I was pretty clear. I said I was self-employed. I was an independent contractor. I drove for Uber and Lyft. So I, it, none of it made any sense. But unfortunately, there's just like really no way to get a hold of anyone right now and get some clear information. So I, uh, I'm going to obviously keep pushing for that. And hopefully I can get you guys something more solid. In the meantime, do what you got to do. Hustle, be gritty. You know, most of you should have gotten your stimulus check by now. I didn't, but I didn't have my direct deposit info on my tax return. And I keep checking the IRS.gov site and I filled my info and it says payment status not available. So I'm just being patient, knowing it's going to come eventually. And um, in the meantime, you know, enjoy your downtime, spend your time with your family, love life the best you can. <laughs> uh, we'll get through this eventually. So. Yeah, but I do want to refer back to the ad read too. Um, for those of you that haven't checked out Gripwise and Survey Junkie, those are two awesome things. Gripwise is going to be more for like once you, um, once you're back to driving consistently. It's an app that I wish to God I had had when I was a driver, 
it tracks everything perfectly and it's gonna make your, your tax time way easier. Think of it as like the ultimate like organizational tool for Uber and Lyft. Like I said, this is something I would have absolutely had. So I've got a link in the description for that so you can use our promo code. Uh, as well as Survey Junkie, I was telling people earlier that's actually something I used to do when I was an aspiring actor. And in between rides, I was literally using Survey Junkie, filling out surveys, and I, you know, I was getting some money here and there, and I would transfer it to my PayPal, and it's a real easy thing. So, you know, there's no reason while you're watching Netflix and TV all day you can't fill out some surveys and, you know, get a Starbucks gift card here and there, or save those points out and cash them out on PayPal. It's a really awesome thing. You definitely want to check it out. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, definitely like and subscribe the, uh, to this video and the channel. Like now more than ever, we're trying really, really hard to get you guys up to date info. So like we're going to release videos as soon as we know what things are going on. So I really want you guys to subscribe, stay up to do, um, blah, blah, blah. Stay up to date with everything that's going on. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Stay safe, rest easy, and please don't be driving right now. <laughs> Alrighty, see you guys later.